In this video, you will begin to manipulate time series data. In particular, you will learn how to move your data across time so that you can compare values at different points in time. This involves shifting values into the future or creating lags by moving data into the past. You will also learn how to calculate changes between values at different points in time. Lastly, you will see how to calculate the change between values in percentage terms, also called the rate of growth. Pandas has built-in methods for these calculations that leverage the daytime index you learned about in the last segment. Let's again import a recent stock price time series for Google. You can let the read CSV function do the date parsing for you. Instead of using the two daytime function, you can tell read CSV to parse certain columns as dates. Just provide one or more target labels as a list. You can also let read CSV set a column as index by providing the index call parameter. As a result, you get a properly formatted time series. Your first time series method is dot shift. It allows you to move all data in a series or data frame into the past or future. The shifted version of the stock price has all prices moved by one period into the future. As a result, the first value in the series is now missing. In contrast, the lagged version of the stock price is moved one period into the past. In this case, the last value is now missing. To shift data into the past, use negative period numbers. Shifting data is useful to compare data at different points in time. You can, for instance, calculate the rate of change from period to period, which is also called financial return in finance. The method div allows you not only to divide a series by a value, but by an entire series, for instance, by another column in the same data frame. Pandas makes sure the dates for both series match up and will divide the aligned values accordingly. As a result, you get the relative change from the last period for every price. That is the factor by which you need to multiply the last price to get the current price. As you have seen before, you can chain all data frame methods that return a data frame. The return data frame will be used as input for the next calculation. Here, we are subtracting 1 and multiplying the result by 100 to obtain the relative change in percentage terms. Another time series method is diff, which calculates the change between values at different points in time. By default, the diff version of the close price is the difference in value since the last day stocks were traded. You can use this information to also calculate one period returns. Just divide the absolute change by the shifted price and then multiply by 100 to get the same result as before. Finally, since it is such a common operation, Pandas has a built-in method for you to calculate the percent change directly. Just select the column and call it percent change. Multiply by 100 to get the same result as before. All these methods have a periods keyword that you have already seen for shift and that defaults to the value 1. If you provide a higher value, you can calculate returns for data points several periods apart, as in this example for prices three trading days apart. Now let's practice these new time series methods. 